Hello and welcome back to the shop. Um, thanks for stopping by. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing today is uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace this blade. This is a Freud 50 tooth combination blade. Had it in here for about uh, 10 or 12 months and it's seen quite a lot of action. So I've got a new blade pop in there and I have my other Freud blade at the saw place and it's going to be sharpened so I'll get that one in I'll have a good backup as well but here's what we're going to be putting in this is a AGE uh, combination blade it's by Amana and uh, it's made in Germany so that's comforting and um, it's got a good carbide chunks on the teeth so I'll be able to get several sharpenings out of this blade as well. So that's a good thing to look into if you're gonna buy a saw blade, you wanna make sure that it's carbide tipped and that it has a good bit of carbide on each tooth so that you can have it resharpened. Otherwise you're gonna be dumping a lot of money down the drain just on saw blades. You think you're saving money by buying something that's you know, 30 bucks instead of 60 or 70 dollars and you end up shooting yourself in the foot because you're going to buy that over and over again all right first step whenever changing your saw blade um, should be obvious but you should unplug your saw so we're going to do that all right so i've got my saw plugged into this ivac switch here so i just have to figure out which one is the saw cord here we go all right, good to go. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the throat plate. All right, I'm gonna raise the blade up as high as I can. All right, and then I'm gonna remove the riding knife. So, on these uh, rigids, the riding knife is just uh, taken off with this little handle in here. All right. All right. So there's the riding knife. We're just gonna set that off to the side. And then, assuming you haven't done what almost everybody does, and that is to lose your your, uh, your wrenches that came with the uh, saw. You're gonna use those now to take the arbor nut off. Let me see if I can find mine. So these are the, these are the wrenches that came with it. Okay, so that's what I had in there. Thin kerf combination, um, uh, 50 tooth Freud. So we're gonna be putting a full kerf. Um, the Germans have measured it at uh, 0.126, which is basically an eighth. Let's see if I can get this out. All right, so this is what's going back onto the saw. As you can see, it says AGE made in Germany by Amana. Um, and the dealer is Shoreset here in Virginia. So we gotta put this on this way. Yeah, this way. All right. So that's gonna go there, like that. Let me just make sure I'm not going crazy because I had that. Yeah, all right. This is a much heavier blade, I can already tell. 
Um, That's hitting on something. All right, so got the blade in and um, had a little bit of a hiccup. So down here where the writhing knife goes, I'm not sure if I can get it all the way in there. Let's see. All right, so you see this locking mechanism. That's where the writhing knife <clears throat> the sleeve where the writhing knife slips in, there was a tab that was bent out. And it's right there. And it was contacting the teeth of the blade. So I had to take the blade back out and uh, actually tap that tab back into position and then put the blade back in. It's running true now. Um, everything's good. It clears everything. Something to keep in mind here is that this blade is full kerf, eighth inch, um, as opposed to the thin kerf, inch and sixteenth blade that I was running before. That might affect my small parts jig, but all I have to do with that is to run it through the blade and it'll clear out that eighth inch cut. So this is good to go. So we will move on to the next thing. All right, next project. So this towel rack used to be right here, which is cool and all. However, we have no plans to keep hand towel in here. What we are going to be using are these blue shop towel, paper towel things. And so because of that, this one is not usable because you have to take screws out to get this thing off to get, um, to get the roll on. Um, so that's not gonna work. So what I've got working right now is, uh, I've got this thing here. I just kind of basically just uh, marked out some box joints and uh, with some on some three quarter inch plywood and basically got these, they're kind of loose, which is fine. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, glue, glue the joints up, um, actually pre-drill first here, these two spots and then here and do the same over here and glue and screw this together. Um, and that should be plenty strong. Now, Beyond that, I've got to drill what I think is gonna be three quarter inch holes. And I'm gonna do three quarter um, black pipe for this. I actually maybe galvanize, use galvanized pipe so it doesn't rust. And uh, basically run the pipe through uh, a cap on one end, and then I gotta come up with something on the other end, whether it be another cap that's just on there loosely, so I can undo it and change the roll. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's the plan so far. I'm also gonna add some kind of um, angled profile, I think, just to make it a little bit more interesting than what was there already. All right, so that's the plan. I'm gonna get a little bit more done on this tonight and then we'll probably finish it up over the next couple of days. All right, so the rest of this video is just going to be a montage of me cleaning up all of my mess. All right, so enjoy.